Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, uh, this was not. This was clearly a failure in intelligence. I think all the witnesses have agreed to that. The President of the United States has as well. It's a, it's more than a failure to connect the dots, as we talk about so much. It's a failure to identify dots or specific threat information coming in and acting upon it uh, appropriately. We had uh, this Christmas bomber's father going to the embassy, warning us about his son. Uh, the State Department issued a cable uh, that basically stated that, uh, and sent it to law enforcement, and, and I assume to the NCTC, stating that information it posted suggests that Farouk may be involved in Yemeni-based extremists. Um, I think members of Congress and the American people don't understand why with that type of information and, and Director Leiter with the specific intelligence coming in through the IC, the intelligence community, why that wasn't linked together, number one, and why it wasn't acted upon to ensure that this man never got on this airplane in the first place. I think we all agree that this visa should have been revoked immediately given the information, and I can't get into the classified information that you were privy to, but it was specific. What happened here? Congressman, some action was taken, but it, as you've identified, as I've tried to say, it was obviously not sufficient, which was his name was entered into the terrorist identities data mart environment, but that didn't have automatic repercussions in terms of screening, visa revocation, or stopping it from boarding the plane. Um, the other intelligence uh, simply wasn't identified and associated with this individual. I can tell you that there was concern on the intelligence community's part about potential attacks by Al Qaeda in Yemen. But what we, and we were concerned even about the timing of that. What we didn't connect was the individual's name or where that attack would occur. That, that was our failure. And, it, and was that because it was misspelled? The name was misspelled? I mean, to me, you know, if you type my name into Google, for instance, a -M -C -C -A -U -L, it'll say, did you mean M-C-C-A-L-L? -L? And so do you not have a similar type of capability? Congressman, actually, the, the misspelling did not affect NCTC in any way. It, it did affect, as I understand it, and I'll defer to uh, Undersecretary Kennedy on this. From our perspective, when his name was sent in, we actually put the spelling in both ways, and the technology we use, it wouldn't have made a difference. Did you not have the cable that the State Department sent? We did, and we inserted the spelling based on a number of things. And yet you made the decision not to revoke the visa, uh, I given that information. I don't have the authority to revoke the visa. That's an authority. To right, but can't you call uh, the Secretary Kennedy and say, you know, I think we got a problem here. We ought to think about revoking this visa. The intelligence community can, frankly, that normally doesn't occur if the nomination itself comes from the State Department. It's well, I think, I think there needs to be a, a lot better coordination going on here between these two uh, entities. And Mr. Kennedy, why, uh, given the information that you had, why, why wasn't the, the visa revoked? Um, Mr. Uh, sir, is, as I mentioned earlier, when we get any information, when anyone appears at an American embassy and they say that they have doubts about someone, we immediately generate what is called a Visa Viper message. We send that to the entire law enforcement and, um, and uh, intelligence. My time's limited. I understand the process, but, but you, if, you had this information and you didn't revoke the, the visa. Because I mean, it, the cable I just read right. makes it pretty clear that this man is associated with extremists in Yemen. He didn't revoke his visa. It, what, it, what it was, sir, is his father said he was associated with this. And so we then asked the intelligence and law enforcement community if they have any other information. I don't want to take much of your time, but glad to visit with you after. Well, I think the father's a very credible source. This isn't some anonymous person coming in saying this. We have people coming in, sir, to American embassies every day uh, attacking their relatives. Well, let me just, on my time, I, this was, this was a, a failure uh, extraordinaire, and I sure hope it never happens again. Uh, Secretary Lew, at the uh, last my re remaining time, they have identified a vulnerability in our system. I'm very concerned about future flights now. Uh, the system didn't work, and the screening, you know, they're, they're always a simple genius. You know, they use chemical explosives, which would be detected through, through x-ray, but not through the magnetometer. I know we're focused on the 16 countries of interest in terms of pat-downs and more enhanced screening, but I'm concerned about still the majority of airports out there where we're still vulnerable. They could still use this technique uh, and get explosive, chemical explosives through uh, the magnetometer. What is the Department of Homeland Security doing about that? 
Uh, Congressman, um, we are not just focused on those 16 places uh, um, that you've identified. We're focused on aviation security globally uh, and, the travel, and the traveling public to ensure their safety. Uh, people have talked about silver bullets. We don't look for silver bullets in Homeland Security. We know it takes a layer, multiple measures at layers, and not just by us, but by our international partners, and it takes constant vigilance. Uh, we've made some adjustments internally now to take the information that we get, push it forward uh, where we have teams on the ground or to authorities and airlines uh, where we don't have specific teams. We're looking to expand our teams as well. Um, this is not a business as usual response. No one uh, will be satisfied. But my point is there's still many airports vulnerable to the same technique deployed by this terrorist. 